Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Geffen, or Reason, and in this video we're gonna talk about everything related to settings, gear, aiming style, etc. So let's start with aiming style. When I mean aiming style, I'm referring to either arm or wrist aiming. Now this is very important, because based on this you should set your sensitivity, based on this you should aim train. Now, how do you choose if you want to aim with your arm or with your wrist? And first of all, I will explain what is arm or wrist aiming. So, arm is when you move your entire arm, use the entire arm to move your mouse. And wrist is when you only aim with the wrist. So, first of all, the main way I would say you should decide that is based on how much room do you have on your desk. So if you have a big desk, and you have a big mouse pad, then it would usually make more sense to use arm aiming and therefore use a lower sense. But if you have um, less room, then you will have less space to move your mouse, therefore it would be better to use a higher sense. And then you would probably use wrist aiming. So, that's the first thing. But one thing which is important to note, though, is that higher sense typically takes more aim training. Lower sense is a bit easier to control, therefore you would need a little bit less aim training. But of course, if you want to perfect your gameplay, if you want to perfect your mechanics, then you need to train everything. Now, the next thing referring to gear is, of course, the mouse, the keyboard, the mouse pad, and the headset. So, for the headset, it doesn't really matter too much. There is top headsets. Uh, I'm using Logitech G Pro, which is uh, one of the most common ones. Uh, but it doesn't matter too much. You just need to find something that works for you, feels good for you. And yeah, now for mouse pad and the mouse, they are both, they need to come together. So the mouse pad, there is different mouse pads. Uh, they have like different friction, if I can call it like that. As in some mouse pads are slower, meaning it's a bit uh, harder to move your mouse on. So you have like more control. And some mouse pads are faster. There is a Google spreadsheet with mouse pads that they are talking about every single common mouse pad with notes on it and what mouse pad is it. Like, is it slower, is it faster? So I will link it down in the description. You can look at it yourself and choose whatever you're interested in. Now let's talk about mouse. So for mouse, uh, first of all, you need to understand what type of grip you use, what type of mouse grip. Do you use a palm grip? Do you use a claw grip? or do you use the fingertip grip? So, based on this information, you can choose a mouse that fits well for you. So personally, I use palm grip. I'm using the Gpro Wireless Superlight, and uh, that works perfectly for me. It's also a lighter mouse, and also I'm using a arm, wrist, arm aiming, sorry. So it fits perfectly for me. The mouse that I'm using is BenQ GSRESQ, I think it's called. For my keyboard, I'm using Logitech G Pro. If you are only using your PC and your keyboard, of course, like for gaming, then a 60% keyboard or a TKL, 10 keyless keyboard, would be completely fine. If you are doing more work or like anything over than that, um, then you can use like a full keyboard. It's really, really dependent on what do you need the keyboard for. But I think that if you're using it for gaming, then usually a big keyboard, like a full keyboard with the numpad is not gonna be the best for you because it would take more space on your desk and you want to have space, of course. Let's talk about sense. I think sense is a bit more important. Um, so for sense, let's go back to what we talked about your mouse and your mouse pad. How much room do you have? So this is how I would determine my sense. All right, so let's say I have a lot of mouse space then like on my desk I have a lot of room to move my mouse, then I would usually pick a bit lower sense because I have more room to move my mouse around. But if I'm playing with like a very, very small mouse pad or I don't have room, then I would have to play higher sense. It's really personal. Usually I like a in-between sense, like a low sense, but not that low. So I'm using 400 dpi, dpi as well is like something similar. I'm using 400 dpi like for a long time, it just feels very very good for me. I feel like I'm in control. And um, higher dpi's, uh, again, it's, it's fully personal, but for me I don't really like to play higher dpi's. And then for sense, I play like pretty much like in the middle sense. So like 0 0.6. With 400 dpi, it's like if I would play 800, 0 0.3, it's like similar. So I was playing like a 
low sense, but it's not properly low sense. For me, it feels good because I can look away from flashes and my coaster placement, my flicks, everything feels good. So I don't need to worry about um, having too low sense or having too high sense where I cannot control it. Right, so a small drill you can do to train your aim and to also check your sense. I will actually give two. So the first one is you start by shooting the robot most on the left and then you move to shooting the most on the right and then again, you cycle through it. So let's start. Shoot this guy, shoot this guy. Then you start speeding up. Yeah, nice warm up. Anyways, I'm joking, but you need to see if it feels good. Like if moving your mouse feels good, if it feels like too much. Moving between these guys. If it feels too fast, too slow, then you can change around it. Another thing you can do is you can just hold the robot. Pretty much you put your crosshair at the head and you start walking around. And you are trying to pretty much track the robot. And you need to understand if it feels too fast, too slow. Again, based on this you can do adjustments. Then of course the last thing is the flicks. You see, based on this, like how fast it is, how slow it is, you can change around it. These are the main ways like I used to pretty much check if my sense felt good when I started playing Valorant. So, but a lot of people that are watching this might have already figured their sense. So this is a fairly basic thing. All right, let's talk about Nvidia settings. If you don't know how to get here, you just Right click on your desktop, NVIDIA control panel, and then you get here. So, first of all, I didn't really change anything when it comes to uh, the colors. So, it's this. So, the digital vibrance, I put to 60, so it looks a bit better. You can get it a bit higher, a bit lower, but the rest I didn't really change. And then, there are these... Uh, NVIDIA settings. I also didn't really change them. There is only a few things I put here, which is the threaded optimization. I put it off. I saw that it, the FPS feels a lot better like this. And then this is the rest. But I haven't really changed anything, so you should probably go for a full tutorial somewhere else if you want the perfect NVIDIA settings. Okay, let's talk about in game settings. So, I will start off with the video settings. I have NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency on on plus boost. Then on graphics quality, everything is on low, except for the first one. And then this is on 4x, this is on 4x. Now, on general, I will talk about the minimap. So for the minimap, I have it rotate. And then I have the keep player standard off. Now, the rest is fully person dependent. All the controls, all the crosshair. I use enemy color of yellow and this is my crosshair if anyone is interested if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on the notifications so you know every time i post a new video and you can comment down below ideas or topics you want me to talk about so yeah that's all see you peace